Today on Singles Court, Cindy wants Claudio to get a new age grip on his emotions. I don't feel like I know him. I don't, I want to be able what to don't express you know? our, I, his dreams, his fears, Maybe his doesn't feelings. Have he says, I'm in touch with my feeling and it's just fine. I don't understand how all of a sudden I became evil just because I don't like to talk so much. And Eduardo's past his expiry date. He's gone bad. He's not treating me properly anymore. Melissa wants him to snap out of it before they end up on the shelf. I like her. I really do like her. I, I don't want anything it's, else it's to change. It's not like I can't so, get any other guys. I mean, you know how many Melissa, guys it is not about that. Yeah, well, lots no, of people want to be with me. Is, like, the thing is, Hi there and welcome to Singles Court. Singles and relationship problems, they go hand in hand and sometimes these singles can't work them out on their own. So they need help. And what better place than right here? Because here they'll meet a woman who's an author, a lecturer, she even owned and ran her own dating service. So she has seen and heard it all. She is relationship expert Angela Siegel. Hi David. Hello. I'm back in that chat room again. I'll tell you, those instant messages just so you know, yes. an opening line is not, are you wearing any panties? Not really? a good one. Not a good one. See, I've been trying that one for years. It hasn't worked. So now it's time you to know move why. On. Time okay. to move on. <laughs> Excellent. Angela, meet Cindy and Claudio. Cindy is a fast food cashier and Claudio is a truck driver. Cindy knows deep down Claudio is more sensitive than he appears. She wants him to attend a workshop, but Claudio's not going. I call this one the case of the silent stud or you can't break me. Cindy. You seem to be upset with him. Yeah. You well, won't. we've been together for like a year and a half, and not once have I ever heard any real emotion from him except when he's watching football. Mm. <laughs> I well, mean, football is good. Well, okay, for example, his grandmother just died, and oh, I mean, he was on. so close to her. He, she practically raised Why you got to go bringing up my grandma? Do I bring up your grandma? Claudio, that's why we're here. Do I here. bring up your psycho ex roommate? Claudio, why do you think that we're here? I don't bring here? these things up. They're personal okay. in front of people. What are you doing? Anyway, in front of people? Yeah. Lots of people? Lots of people. Well, yes. and this, see, this is the problem. You know, like, that's the whole reason why we're here is to talk about this, and he can't even open up for like two seconds. That's okay, the but, problem, it, all but of a sudden. You, it's always been this way, you said. He's well, never been, he's not a very Yeah, but up until guy. now, like, I mean, we've only been together for a year and a half, and it's been fun, and we're, you know, when we're socializing, I mean, that's fine, but I just feel like it's time to take it to a deeper level. What would that be? Well, I mean, I want to know about his hopes, his fears, his dreams. I mean, something I tell a little you bit more. You, Don't what I do tell you, you tell about me? Well, the time the blast caps went off and I yeah, saw lights see, climbing like, the walls for five days. Like, this the guy blast caps. Sorry, what, what are that? you talking about? Yeah. Okay, I drive a dump truck. Okay. And uh, one time I was at work, we were filling in this quarry, and they need to make explosions happen for this. Like, one this went off like accidentally by my head. Stuff to you? Well, you know, though, but. Everybody, you know, to me, everybody's emotional issues are different. Maybe for him that was emotional. Well, I mean, what about his grandmother dying? Like, when she died, this woman who practically raised him, he didn't say a word about it to me. He was just, he wasn't himself for one day. He didn't say anything about it. And then the next day, he's just back to normal again. Like, but he's is he like really? an emotional Had, time is bomb. Is he really back to normal? Did well, that's you, what I don't know. Did you discuss it with him? I've tried. And he, like, Claudia? Well, he, he always Look, deflects. I'm an upfront kind of guy. What you see is what you get. <laughs> It's not like I'm trying to hide anything from anybody. I just, I'm, I'm just, I just got nothing so to say you about feel? it. You what know? did you feel when your grandmother died? Do you not feel anything at all? What I feel all? about it is none of anybody's business. See, this is the problem. And you're trying to pull this out. All of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. I don't understand how all of a sudden I became evil just because I don't like to talk so much because I like to hang out with the guys. Well, I mean, why do you call him an emotional time mom? Because it just seems like he's keeping all of this stuff Why? Because he's not, inside him. But maybe he doesn't have anything built up. I mean, did that ever occur to you? Maybe there's nothing there. Really? Well, <laughs> who doesn't feel anything when, like... No, not anything. Just differently than you. Well, then, so what am I supposed to do about it? Like, I feel like I don't even Gee, know let him. let me think about this. How about accept it? She well, wants me to go on this emotional retreat where uh, you go out into the middle of the woods with a bunch of men and discuss your feelings. And I... Uh, How do you feel about that? <laughs> no way. Not gonna happen. There, you got some emotion out. Never. See? 
not a chance is that ever gonna happen. So I can dance around with a bunch of people like look like Tony Robbins and I just, come I back acting be able like to Dave. Talk. <laughs> me? Why me? Hey, don't attack I, him. I, I can't I remember the last time I was out dancing around with men. So take it easy, pal. Whenever uh, I try what? to talk to him, well, I just he has get a, nothing. But he has an obvious issue with the fact that you want him to go on this retreat. Why do you want him to go? Well, I just feel like if we went to this retreat together, we could get to know each other on a deeper level. I mean, the only things we ever talk about is just day-to-day -day things and, and the size of our house and the best heating system for Those it. Those are like, important things. Yes, they're Isn't important Isn't a relationship things, the best that's... when you're comfortable being quiet? When you don't have to talk to the other person about everything all the time? <laughs> well, that sounds like a Hallmark card to me. That's right. <laughs> It's comfortable uh, when we're quiet. That's <laughs> my Hallmark card for the, I mean, the year. My, my question to you is, when you look at this retreat, what, what, what are you so adamant about? Why is it that you're so adamant about not going? What is it about it that you hate? Okay, there's this guy at work. His name is Dribbles, okay? And we call him that because he went on one, of, he used to be the most stand-up guy you'd know. In a bar fight, he was the guy you wanted to have on your back all the time. And he got his work done all the time, okay? And then all of a sudden, he goes on one of these retreat, retreats, gets in touch with his emotional side and comes back and tells us about how his life has changed and he's uh, changed for the better and he's you know he cried all weekend and he really got to know uh, the child inside of him and blah 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 so the guy started picking on him a little bit and he doesn't hang out with us at the bar so much anymore because he'd rather probably be doing other things and uh, you, may, you think that made him a weaker person yeah it made what him a weaker person oh, okay. so what does he do instead tell her what he does instead he that you think is so wife. sissy see this is the thing, like he thinks that hanging out with your wife is a sissy thing to do. Like, well, but, did, but do you have an issue with the fact that he, he doesn't not hang out with you? Well, you, I, mean, you I don't say, feel like I get like quality time from well, him. You know, did, did it ever occur to you that maybe there's nothing else? Maybe you have all there is that he has to give. Well, if that's all there is, then I don't know if I want it. Well, I think that's the bigger issue. You know, you're, I mean, you're looking here at, at somebody saying, I'm not going on the retreat. So what are you going to say if he says to you, I'm not going? Because basically that's what he said. He's not going. Well, I basically, I just think it's now or never. I feel like our relationship is Now or is never just, what? Well, our relationship is over if this is all that's ever going to be of it. You don't like it the way it is? No. And what, do, and what is it that you, exactly that you don't like about the relationship? Well, I just, I don't feel like I know him. I don't, I want to be able what to don't express you know? our, I, his dreams, his fears, maybe his he doesn't feelings. Have you, maybe he doesn't have any. Maybe all he wants to do is drive the dump truck and watch Things blast off the back. What's and wrong with that? See? What's wrong with that? <laughs> maybe he just doesn't want to wear all the shirt. Just no, I don't want you shirt. on my side. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Well, then I guess I just don't want somebody like that. If what, there's nothing what, deeper. What are you talking about? If there's nothing more to you, then, like, I don't want to live a life waiting for you to come home from the bars and listening to you belch and, like, Scratch yourself with your friends. But if that was the case, why didn't you end it before? Why'd you bring me here? Because I thought that our relationship might grow past this point. Like, this is fine for the time being. Isn't this amazing? But for, like, yeah. a future together, husband and wife, like, I'm not up for that. Well, you know what? Friends, we've just seen a relationship unfold right here on Singles Court. I'll be back with my resolution. <laughs> This is a classic, I must say. Cindy, you are desperately trying to, to fit a square peg in a round hole. <laughs> he told you the truth. He said, I am what I am, and that's true. What you see is what you get. Those were his words. You know, everybody handles emotions differently. You can't ask someone else to handle them in the way that you would, including the death of a loved one, grief. All those things are handled differently based on the person. And you need to understand that he's not going to handle it necessarily the way that you think that he should. You know, it doesn't make him an emotional time bomb, as you said. He's just different than you are. You know, Claudio, you, you said, I am what I am, and you're right. You are what you are. And you have to understand that just because you're not an expressive person when it comes to your emotions, it doesn't make everybody else who is a sissy or something to be laughed at. It doesn't give you uh, some sort of elevated position to make fun of others. You know, although it hurts to, to end a relationship, it hurts more to stay in it when you know it's over. This one is over. It's, it's overdone. You know, it, when I look at this, I just think about the fact that, that you just continue to try and change them and change them and change them. And we know that just doesn't work. It never works. And in order to make someone see things the way that we see them, we can drag them all over the ends of the earth. It really doesn't matter. They will still ultimately be who they are. So when I look at this relationship, all I can say to you is that you need to go your separate ways. Each of you 
doing what it is that you want to do with whomever it is you want to do it with. And stop trying to change him into something that he's not ever going to be. But remember, feelings are part of every relationship. And if they're not nurtured and made to continue to grow, what will happen is they'll end up at the end of the day, just like Claudio's truck, dirty and empty. And that's that, the final word. Next on Singles Court, Eduardo's past his expiry date. He's gone bad. He's not treating me properly anymore. Melissa wants him to snap out of it before they end up on the shelf. I like her. I really do like her. I, I don't want anything it's, else it's to change. It's not like I can't so, get any other guys. I mean, you know how many Melissa, it is not about that. Yeah, well, lots no, of people want to be with me, is, too. I, the... Welcome back to Singles Court. I'm David Knight. We're back with two more singles who have a relationship problem. They've tried to fix it on their own, but they've had no luck. So who better to help them than the woman with the final word, relationship expert, Angela Siegel. I tell you, I just had a thought. Yes? What do you think about a singles aerobics video? Singles aerobics video. Uh, no leg warmers, though. No, Those no are leg warmers. Just, just sweat and move into the groove. And Perfect. I think that's a good idea. Excellent. Write it down. We'll work on it later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Angela, meet Melissa and Eduardo. Melissa is a sales clerk, and Eduardo is a gas jockey. Melissa wants the kind, caring, and considerate Eduardo back in her life. Eduardo thinks Melissa's got ants in her pants because they moved from friends to lovers. This involves insults, injuries, and injustice. I call it the case of goodbye, Mr. Nice Guy, or you've got to be cruel to be kind. Well, Melissa, sounds like you have a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on you. What happened? <laughs> Well, you know, uh, me and Eduardo have been dating for about six weeks. And uh, before that, we were good friends for two years. I mean, really good friends. We emailed each other all the time. We talked on the phone like five times a day. Uh, we went shopping together. <clears throat> but uh, lately, he's just totally changed, and he's being a real jerk. What do you mean I've jerk. changed? He's being a How real have I been jerk. A jerk. And I just want him to cut out all this macho crap and to start acting like the Eduardo that I know. I'm, well, still, I mean, I, I'm still the same Eduardo. I am still the same Eduardo no, you're that you met. No, yes, you're I am. not. Yes, no, you're I not. Yes, I am. Well, give me, give me so an what, example. How have I changed? You, well, you, let's find out. <laughs> we'll be at the table at dinner, okay? And he'll get up to go and talk to his friends for like half an hour. I explained. He'll make plans without consulting me. I explained to you what happened that night. Without I explained that night what happened to you. That was business. Okay? And that I'm was calling, business. How do you go and, from, and up to now, he hasn't called me back. How do you go from calling somebody and talking to them on the phone like five times a day to leaving them at a table to go talk to friends because it's business. Because that was business. I, I'm a gas jockey, right? And the guys who bring the truck to fill the gas tanks his, his were at the same was restaurant. He was going to I've been the trying to get a hold of them for weeks. That night with but they were at the friends. restaurant, so that, I, I went and business. I did my business for half an hour. And then I came back. Are I apologized you? to her. Oh, come on. I said I made it up, but mm -mm. she won't I, accept it. I don't blame her. You'd have been sitting there by yourself. No, he's just he's just <laughs> totally changed. I mean, he used to be so sweet. I mean, he would bake cakes. I'm still me sweet. Cakes. I still bake her he cakes. Would, I bring her know, flowers. We bring go to, me gummy go bears. Dinner. He, he said he still does those things. He still does not. He does nothing. At least he hasn't done anything for me lately. Okay? Let me just tell you. Let me just break it down for yeah, you. Please do. Because he does nothing for me. I mean, he used to be such an angel. But now it's just like his niceness is on I mean, hibernation. What happened? I'm like, still an angel. Well, okay, I but, still but an you angel. all were friends for two years. Yeah. And then, you know, because it's scary when somebody thinks, okay, I've, I've gone to the next level, and now we have this relationship. Which it are is, you, it is. Are you I'm, all intimate in this relationship? Yeah. Well, you know, Physically? I, I have to admit, it, it's gotten a little bit weird since we started to have sex. She's the one who's been acting but, weird since you know, this whole thing Because he used to us. be like a brother to me, really. Why would you date we, your brother? I, yeah, I was, she was never a sister to me, so I'm like... How can you, know, you date your brother? It, you know, if I was a, like a brother to you, how could you date your brother? It's, it's been a little bit weird, but you know, I'm getting over it. It's been it. weird for me too, but I'm, I'm dealing with it. I'm just going with the flow. Well, That's but, what but I want her to do. I guess I'm, I'm sort of confused here because you move to the level of, of physical intimacy. Yeah, she can't you, deal with that. And then you're saying that that's, that that's making him act weird and mean and not nice to you anymore? She just, no, he, no, it has nothing to do with the sex, OK? The big thing with me is that he's not treating me properly anymore. He's not treating well, me properly. Well, how do you know it doesn't have anything to do with the sex? Maybe it does. Uh, does, I, it, I, does it have anything to do with the sex? No, because I know the sex is good. I thought she, she loved the sex. She, she never brought it up Listen, until now. Well, you know, she you, never mentioned anything else. This, this, the sex is all right. Sorry. She, she went from right. good. She went from great to all right. <laughs> the sex all right. Is all right. I don't know what she's That's talking about. That's not a match. <laughs> no. 
But, you know, my, my major concern is that, you know, I just want him to start acting like the way well, he is. Well, but do you feel like because you all became physically intimate that that might be why exactly. he's acting differently? No, I, I don't, I don't think maybe, so. maybe, you know, what they say, like, you know, they say they got, you know, he got, he got the milk, so now he's, like, leaving the cow. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, I love being with her. I really do. I really do. Well, then but why don't you act like it? You know? I do. I don't know what she's talking about. I treat him I, like I, gold, okay? Just the other day, I bought him a new outfit so he can go out with his boys. The other day was my birthday. I drove halfway across the other day, town it was to my get birthday. him a new CD so, that he wanted. There's okay? people that don't get anything for their birthday. Well, I give her stuff for her birthday. If, if I paid all his bills. Oh, my goodness. Now, why do you do that? Uh, you know, being nice. No, because that's I thought that, stupid. you know, perhaps... Yeah, that's being a sucker. That's <laughs> not know? being nice. Paying Come bills. On. If I'm nice to him, No, I'm being mean to you. You know, and... You pay all his bills, too? I'm, no. She does not pay all my bills. Not. She does you know, not pay all my bills. He treat me like a million bucks. Okay? I still don't treat but her like a million bucks. Now what he does is he's rude she to me. She has a million bucks and she pays all your bills. <laughs> he's rude to me. You know, he uh, you know makes rude comments about my hair, about she my feel... friends. Is that true, though? He said, no, I look, it's not he said, true. I look she's like a prostitute. I don't know, I don't know how you can bring me here and say all that stuff on the show. I mean, come on. Some of it has to be true. None of it is true. None of it. You never call. You never said she looked like a prostitute. Well, the skirt she was wearing, she couldn't even bend down to pick up a pencil. That's not true. I didn't want to. We were going out true. to a restaurant. Oh, you did say. You did say. That's true. Okay, no, what about... No, I didn't say she was a prize. You said my I, hair, I made a comment along like, the lines. You can't believe how greasy my hair gets. Well, her hair is greasy. How, how I've got beautiful skin. So I don't want, you know... I don't want to get pimples so on my face and stuff like that. But, but do you understand? It's different from how you were. Like, why are you being so critical? Why are you being so critical? It's why so you rude. Changed? I mean, that is... I mean, if her hair is greasy, my thing is, my, if her hair is greasy, then move on. Don't touch it. You know what I'm saying? In my last three relationships, it's, I've been dumb because I've been told I'm too nice. So what does that have to do with me? I'm not your past three relationships. The first one, Good. Is I got, that why you've been the treating first one, me like, the like first crap one, because your last three Excuse me, I'm talking here. Melissa, please. Can I speak to Angela, please? Thank you. Um, the first relationship, I got dumped. I can understand that. She said I was being too nice or whatever. Like a it brother. It was just wimpy, kind of exactly. Thing. Second like one, the same thing happened. I was dumped because I was too nice. Oh, I like you, but oh, can we just be friends? The third one, too nice. So I'm so, like, what's wrong with being a nice guy? So you decided what? To change and become a big ass. So you, well, like my you, friends have been telling me to do for years, but I haven't been, been listening, I haven't been to, listening to them. Stupid so friends? now I just figure, why not? You've why not try you, something you've been different? To your friends? Why not try something You're different? You're tired, old friends. Ma Melissa, how about this? Okay, this is the person that you've been friends with, the nice friend, for two years, probably <laughs> through some of those same relationships. Yes, so yes. why would you turn into a jerk on her? I'm just. Talking from past you experience. You know, but you, but, but did from you know those, experience. but did, were you friends with those women for two years like you are with her? No. It, that's a right. year, It would be impossible because you're only 22. Yeah. So that couldn't have happened. So there's, here's somebody who you've been friends with for two years. Mm -hmm. So do you think she deserves this total flip in personality? And do you really think it's going to yield you want, a girlfriend? I'll try something different. That's all. It's not working. That's all I thought. It is you know? working. So now it's, it's time working. to change it up. Change you know? it up again. It's not right? working. I mean, do you, how do you really feel about her? Really? I like her. I really do like her. I, yeah. I don't want anything it's, else it's to change. It's not like I can't so, get any other guys. I mean, you know how many guys. It is not about that. Yeah, well, lots of no, women want to be with me too. Lots of women want to be with me too. The thing is, I choose to be with me. And I you chose think, you like, too. I chose you also. Treating me like garbage. That's going to make me look around. I'm trying to help you. You're you're making it worse. Really. I don't even know why she brought me. Well, you know why? Because she's trying to understand why you changed. Do you do you see it now? You explained why. Yeah. So do you think she's worth? Giving her the real you? Yeah, she is. I she agree. Is. I'll is. be back with my resolution. You know, people who change midstream are usually pedaling the wrong way. You know, Eduardo changed on you, and you know that. But you understand why he did it. It was because he didn't want to lose you. And he felt as though what he was doing made sense, even though he was wrong. I just want you to understand why he did it, because he really cares about you. And that's, that's a nice thing when you've had a friend for two years. You know, cherish the friendship, and then continue to grow the friendship and continue to nurture it, because that will give you all the ultimate relationship together, because you're friends first. You know, buying things like you've done and paying for things and giving him things are not necessary to show him that you care. So I'd kind of hold up on the wallet for a little while. Now, when I look at you, I mean, Eduardo, nice guys don't always finish last. I know you think they do, but they don't. You can still be a nice guy and be strong. You can. You can still have all the strength of a man and still be nice. I think you know that she cares about you as a friend first. 
And that's important. It's very important. You know, in relationships, you have to realize that you never get a good result when you're pretending to be somebody other than who you are. And that's what you were trying to do. And the result would not have been good anyway because she would have broken up with you because she thought you were a jerk. And you're not. You're a nice guy. So, you know, people live a lifetime and never get to have a relationship with someone who's truly their friend. You all are fortunate because at a very young age, you've been able to have a relationship, a friendship, for two years. And I harp on that because I want you to understand that that's special. You may never get that again in your life. So don't just throw it out the window. Go back to being a nice guy. That's a good thing. You know, because even if nice guys do finish last, some people believe that sometimes the best things are saved for last. So last is not always a bad place to be. And that's that, the final word. You know, the first case today got me thinking about changing my name to Claudio. But after dealing with that meathead, I think I'll try maybe Eduardo. So, this is Eduardo Knight saying, see you next time on Singles Court. The final word for singles.